Welcome back, State of the K2 Survivors. This is your boy, Kung Grexus Prime, coming at you with another Prime Directive. Update 28, Episode 7, with several content creators. And I'm going to start from right to left. It will be A Cup 4919, Gaming with Tor, Bob Cadaver, and Bundy D Game. So, A Cup, you want to say something real quick? Hey, I really appreciate the opportunity to be a part of this. I'm looking forward to the prime directives and getting everybody else's insight. I think this is an awesome thing. So thanks for having me. Tor. Yo. That's it? I, yeah, let's just leave it at that. No. Uh, appreciate the uh, the invite. Uh, feels good to sit around such uh, distinguished distinguished gentlemen. <laughs> I feel like they're gonna have some really good stuff to say. Gee, I feel like that. Yeah. Gee, Tor, thanks, so, man. <laughs> I, I hope I got got something to input. That's it. Uh, all right, Bob. Hey, everybody. Uh, thanks for including me in this prime. I'm looking forward to everybody's Q and A and uh, everybody's responses. Bundy D. Some strange reason I feel a sense of deja vu. I don't know why. <laughs> but, don't start. Uh, <laughs> don't start. See how you do? Man, it's, it's, it's a good thing to, uh, yeah, have you guys here in the prime directive. Uh, I, I'm sure we'll have some good conversation. Yeah, copy that. Well, what they're not telling you, and I'm going to be upfront about it, is that uh, we had some issues with the first take. So this will be our second take. And uh, that's why that's why Bundy feels like it's deja vu. So my software sucks and it didn't record what we were saying 30 minutes into the Prime Directive. So it kind of sucks. But anyway, I want to thank you guys all for uh, taking the invite and also showing up. I appreciate that. I know everybody's busy. I know this is the holiday season. And this has been a difficult thing to, to actually uh, get people to come on because the times never match. So to have you guys all show up like this is pretty awesome. Thank you guys so much. Bundy's always here, but it seems to be harder to have other people stick to this to this actual schedule of doing this at least once a month, which is going to be the goal. Either once a month or every other month when an update or some game that comes out resembling State of the K2, we will be talking about it on this particular podcast. So what is the Prime Directive? We're going to ask everybody here, Rand Robin. We're going to go with uh, three questions this time around. And we're going to be talking about Update 28 for State of the K2. We're going to start with A-Cup, which is to my right. And uh, A-Cup, the first question is, uh, what are your thoughts on Update 28? Well, I, I think they made a lot of visual improvements, which everybody has seen. And but. Aesthetics are important to some gamers and uh, viewers even, you know, sometimes people are like, hey, uh, man, I wish this looked a little nicer. Why isn't it in this format? Why can't you get there? So I really think the visual aesthetic improvements will get the community excited about what can come next for like the other maps. And like I said, I'm not a Providence Ridge player. I, I probably have like an hour or two in Provi Ridge. I don't like the map, but because of what they've done, it makes me want to play that map. So it it's a nice little hook to drag you in, in my opinion. Cool. All right. You, you're good, A-Cup? Yep. yep, that's good. All right. Gaming with Tor, you're up, man. Hey, man, I think A-Cup remembered his original answer. That was good. That was perfect, yeah. actually. Well, been, the... been practicing them in the mirror, uh, Tor. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, one of the the way you kind of added and or asked it before was, was it one of the things you said was, was it necessary? And I kind I, of felt like, huh? I left that word out. Cause I didn't you want to did. trigger you, you but didn't want to trigger me, but it, or it happened anyway. <laughs> Cause I heard it in the back of my head. <laughs> okay. So it wasn't so, uh, I, I just wanted to say what didn't feel like it was so much necessary, but it's always good to get, I guess it's always good to get an update. And I do agree with a cup that, throwing in some graphics and knowing that hopefully that's going to continue on other maps. Cause it would be weird to stop on just one um, that, that kind of motivates you to, to keep coming back to, you know, an older game. So that, that's a pretty good, um, 
So maybe I, maybe I will change my answer to maybe it was necessary because updating the graphics on an older game does help keep it relevant. So it is a pretty big deal. Tor, you're one of them turncoats, man. Well, look at you, no. Tor. You right, changed right my line. It, man. You changed my line. <laughs> I changed yours. I, this is you just did. classic. Look at this. This is cute, man. Uh, this is like you guys are like flirting a little entirely too much. <laughs> All right. Are you good, Tor? Yeah, it's good, man. <laughs> All right, my brother. I'm going to move on to Mr. Bob Cadaver. I'm not changing my opinion on the matter. Woo! So, here we go. Yeah. I, I don't think <laughs> it, it wasn't necessary. Um, I'll be a little bit more clear. They're adding fluff to the game to keep it relevant. Um, you know, I, I don't need these stupid hats that they keep giving us and all these clothes and <laughs> crap. Um, I want the game to run smoother. I want uh, multiplayer support where the game doesn't crash on me and... I get scratched by zombies from 20 feet away from me and kill my character. That's not fun? No, it's not fun. <laughs> I, I enjoy playing the game. Huh. You know, I've been playing it ever since its release. Um, you know, I'm trying to find different ways to keep it relevant for me and for my viewers to watch. And I got to come up, you know, out of the box of ideas that I got to come up with to keep it interesting for me to play. And, yeah. Um, you know, adding, adding the, you know, adding the, Graphical upgrade was was cool. The I, I love the fog that they added to it, and I love the more texture of the map and the coloring and stuff it has. So we need to do that across the board with all the maps. Um, but they just need to they need to fix the game and make it run better. I got you. So that's, you that's good? All I got. Yep, that's all I got. You good, Bob? Matter. Yep. All right, Bundy D is on you, bro. Well, yeah, just like. Uh... Like Tor said, uh, originally you asked, was it necessary? Um, and originally, I can't, you guys, I you guys bringing that word back, man. I, that that word triggered well, Tor. Well, this is the way <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Um, I'm, just like I answered the first time, uh, not that it's necessary, but it's you know anything that improves the game is is okay with me. You know, if if it makes the game better, makes it look better. It makes it run better, you know. That's fine with me. Uh, but like I, I've always said, and I'll say it again: expect to get these type of things. We're going to get small updates. We're going to get big updates. The longer it takes for State of K three to come out, the more of these updates we're going to have because they they they're going to want to keep this game relevant by design. That's the way this game was designed from day one: is to continue to have updates come out you know every two months every three months however they decide to do it so we're going to get that hopefully they, they manage to work their way around the, uh you know fixing the bugs and to make the game run better but that's not the kind of thing that you can throw out there as an update hey great look what we did so they always try to add that flood hmm. to it and as far as the uh the christmas hats bob is like <laughs> 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 to celebrate the seasons, man. I guess Bob is grumpy, man. You, you saw how, uh, I'm a Grinch, how excited man. Excited, Cup was to get um uh what was that? What was the one A Cup was so excited for? Oh, for uh, Halloween, the fearsome footage. Yeah, the fearsome footage. Fearsome footage, <laughs> footage man. So it's like, yeah, it, there's some people out there that get excited for the seasons, man. You know, they might even have a bunny for Easter. You never know. Woo! <laughs> I wear that. I, I, I got it. Years. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, bunny bunny. So, the bunny bunny, <laughs> and they can bring back the bunny hop too. Woo! Uh, they need to br yeah. they need to bring that back for real. That's an update I'll I'll be looking forward to. All right, Bundy. I, I don't know if this is a better answer than the one before, but you know we'll see. <laughs> That's close enough, actually. I'm surprised that you guys pretty much except for tour and uh, switching yeah. switching sides like a turncoat. Other than that, everything's pretty much the same from, from the first time. Um, my answer is what I said earlier. Um, they're going to continue to uh, uh, give us updates every so many months. And uh, that's what they're going to do to keep the game relevant, like Bundy said. Um, is it necessary? I guess it depends on your point of view. And uh, I did like everything they did with Providence Ridge. And, uh, you know, I'll leave it at that. I'll keep it nice and short and sweet. So, because we have other questions to go. So, we're going to move on to the next question. And it's going to get kicked off by Grumpy, I mean, Bob. And <laughs> you can call is, me Ebenezer. 
Ebenezer Scrooge. Hey, Scrooge. There you go. That's it. That's it. Okay. I got. Uh, all right. So Scrooge is going to answer this next question uh, first, which is uh, field of view. Uh, what are your thoughts on the field of view? Why? What? The, you know, it was in the beta, but now it's not. What are your thoughts on it? Um, well, my first answer was I didn't get a chance to to actually play and use it. I was watching others use it, you included. And my my original answer was I didn't really think it was necessary. I, I thought they were trying to go the route of first-person shooter. Mm -hmm. And I think first-person shooter would be cool. But I guess I didn't think of the epilepsy and stuff like that when you brought it to our attention. And so I guess it is a it, it's a cool idea for them. But I was, you know, if they're going to put it in, let's make sure it's going to work right. But not, you know, take it out right when the update drops. You know, make well, sure that's, that's, what that was, beta, that's what the beta is for, right? That's what the beta was for. I mean, the yeah, beta did its job. I yeah, mean, uh, yeah, that's I mean, the first time they followed that, too. So, yeah, you got to grumpy. You got to give them. Down you gotta, <laughs> hey, Grumpy. You gotta give them at least that much credit. They, That's true. At least they didn't. At least they didn't release the update with it being in there. With it, bro. Exactly. Exactly. It exactly. Me, because everything that they hey, they they turned the leaf, broken, so. dude. They, they turned the leaf. You gotta give a little bit credit to under <laughs> last and be like, hey, man. Thank you guys for like you know following the beta protocols and not releasing something broken. So they left it out, which is fine. Oh, That's... I'm sure something's still going to be broken. Oh, man. But, yeah. you know, it's it's part of the game, man. It's part of the love. All right, Bundy. You're next, my dear. Hey, I think before I answer that, I think maybe you need to explain like you did earlier. Okay. The importance yeah. of that. Well, I was going to wait. I was... I was gonna wait till it was my turn, but I'll do it right now. It's fine. I'll, I'll skip Bundy, and then Bundy can we can get, go back to you. All right. Yeah, uh, the, the, I, the, I don't want to interrupt Bob, but I think you probably should have mentioned that before Bob answered as well. I guess I should have, but I wanted to see how much you guys knew. Like when uh, when we did it the first time, I wanted to see if you guys knew the reason why. Because I, I, there is a reason why uh, games have field of view changes, and most of it has something to do with motion sickness. And um, people that have problems with motion sickness, like they can't play first-person shooters, it has something to do with your peripheral vision. And if you have like a tight box in a game where you can only see, let's say, 40% of what's in front of you, you have to make exaggerated moves left and right, and those changes uh, are rapid when your field of view is short. But when your field of view is wide, those, those changes are not as rapid, so your, your, your outer eye can, can detect those movements a lot less and then you get less feedback from that, and then it won't trigger you getting, let's say, seasick, what they call seasick or motion sickness. So, and it's just your brain and your eye just uh, getting confused. You know what I mean? Um, that's the reason why most games have field of view change. And 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 Bob brought up a good a good point. He was actually, no, I'm sorry, it was a cup uh, on the earlier part of this, and he said that most games come with this. State of the K didn't. Well, they weren't they weren't thinking about. So, yeah, I don't. I don't want to step over you, uh, tour, but I, I'm, I'm gonna put it out there so that we're not confused. Because I thought that was a that was an excellent point. Why didn't this game have it? And I'll be quite frank with you, they just weren't thinking about that. I, I'm pretty sure that the people on Under Labs just didn't have that perspective at the time that they designed the game because State of the K One does not have field of view change. Hmm. So they sure. just thought. Yeah, I'm sure that's what it was too. They sure. thought, hey, our field of view is good. You know, this is the perspective we're going to use. Let's just, you know, cookie cut it and bring it into State of the K2. Mm -hmm. What you're going to see a lot of that on State of the K3. You're going to see a lot of stuff from State of the K2 and State of the K3. I promise you that. But that's the reason why field of view is important for, let's say, bringing in people. They couldn't play State of the K2 because they it was too close up and it would get them sick. So, and like I said in my earlier answer, the more people you bring in that can play this game, um, the more this community grows, the more chances of people coming in not knowing anything and our channels having the opportunity to reach those people and helping them navigate the uh, State of the K2 community. And, you know, they get to interact with us as well. So, But okay, Bunny, yeah, now that I got my spiel out, I'm going to skip myself, but I'm going to go right to you. Yeah, so my rebuttal will be pretty short because uh, th that's one of the things I brought up too about accessibility and, and things like that because Undead Labs is are one of those companies that want to be as accessible as they can be so uh, like you said they probably didn't have their perspective when they were putting the game together 
But being that they're coming together so much now and talking about what can we add, what can we do, what can fundamental uh, benefits we can add, uh, glossy over cookie cutter benefits, they're going to do different things like that. And like I said before, some things we're not going to gonna like, some people going to like, some people won't like. But that's just what we're going to have to deal with for the next two years, two to three years, until uh, SOD3 comes out. Another thing that they're going to be thinking about, too, is like, because we know that they got some things that they're going to have in SOD3 that we don't have in SOD2 right now. So there's some things they may be deciding, well, should we put it or should we leave that for SOD3? So we're going to be getting a lot of that stuff. But, yeah, accessibility, I'm all for it. You think cool. they're... They're testing some stuff in two that they're wanting to do in three. Yes. Oh, huh. believe I never yes. even thought about that. A hundred percent. I've been saying this since day one. Go Does back to the, a, go back to the first the prime directive. You know, right. we'll go back to the first prime directive, and you would you would hear me say the same the same exact thing. Probably where <laughs> where this came up. You know, they they're sitting down at the table. At, you yeah. know, And they're deciding what to do. How can we do this? Because they're they're kind of like in a sense. They're developing a, a new game, and then they're trying to keep mm -hmm. that development with a smaller team and with a third-party team to keep this other game relevant. So, so you just some of the made ideas my, will cross over. You just made my hypothesis true that State of Decay Two will always be in beta. <laughs> it's beta for three. Oh, Got God. oh, oh beta boy. thank you. Well, yeah, but it makes yeah, at, sense at this because... point now, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, I was say that after three years being out, who does that? Who starts a beta? Right? That seems like that's the only thing that makes sense is that they're, hey, we want to fill the view in three, so let's put shove it in two and see if it works. That's see if we can, see see if we can make it work. I guess yeah, is the word, but yes, because remember that they didn't have it in State of the K one. Neither in State of the K2. So. I, I believe that the beta is actually alpha, and the game that we play <laughs> and enjoy is the beta. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, God. That's the ultimate shade, A-Cup. I don't know, yeah, man. I apologize. I don't, all right. All right. All right. All right. So let's move on to uh, to Mr. A-Cup. What are your thoughts on the field of view? Well, um, I'm going to probably crack a little bit of a joke right here because as I was thinking about what you were saying about expanding the view for people that can't see too well, mm -hmm. I'm thinking that when it gets into the real game, the second or third beer in, I'm going to be expanding that field of view a little bit. <laughs> 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 but the first time I said I, I really didn't care for it, but then you made your point and it, it changed my mind. So okay. I, I think it's something that they do, should, do need to work on in development because like you said, the more people they bring in, the more people that might find us, the more people that grow all of these channels. So it's about the community, and you can't limit your community size by not making the game accessible to people. Well, yeah, you want to you want to include as many people as you can. You want to have a healthy pool of new people along with a healthy pool, uh, pool of veterans mm -hmm. so they can kind of distribute the weight evenly, and that way, you know, you always have growth. So... I mean, them bringing in new updates, like even if they're not as fluffy as I say, update 26, still keeps the game relevant. And I think we all can benefit from that. I mean, we're all content creators, except for Bundy. He's in a retirement home, but we're not going to get into that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm showing up anytime you ask. I'm here. So yeah. I know, I know. He, he's and he's uh, my stuff is classic and timeless, man. I, I watched one of my no, old videos the other day. I was laughing and enjoying it. So, hey, timeless you know? and classic. All right. So the last person left on the list of this question is nobody. Everybody answered <laughs> the whole question, and now we're gonna shift. We're gonna shift gears. Did Thor answer? No, yeah. I didn't get an official answer. It's, it's... Yeah. You were marked off as you answered, but okay, go ahead. Right. No, go ahead and answer. Right. What? Do, what do you? Go ahead. FOB, man. <laughs> F -O <laughs> oh, it, should I hurry or? No, go ahead, man. Well, I, I, Take your time. I wanted to actually really quick throw in a disclaimer that I think all of us love Undead Labs and love this game. I just want to throw that in there that some of the we, stuff We sound, do. We, we yeah, chops, we really do. I they, know we do. Yeah, they created so, an awesome game. 
Exactly. I want to throw that in there. And there's no shade when I say they're using beta to beta test things for three because it benefits us both ways because you get some new features in two and that's going to make three better. So there's no I'm saying it's not a bad thing. I think it's a pretty ingenious thing myself. Um, but as far as FOV goes, I agree that it, it, it needs to be it should have been there from the beginning. But like you're saying, they didn't have it in two. So maybe that wasn't in their field of view. Oh, snap. Uh, <laughs> they didn't have it in one. So it wasn't in two. That's but yeah, in one, let, let, let me. Two. Oh, snap. Just, oh, snap. <laughs> hey, edit that out to make it sound good. Oh. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so it's something they need to work on. They do to to get anybody in here that can get in here because accessibility is super important. And there is a surprising a lot amount of things that are accessible that we don't think about often. Like just simply color blindness can really stop people from playing a game. Yes. So that stuff needs to be there. It's very important. And um, for me, f field of view coming, you know, to this update or it being out for so long is strange, but after the things we've been talking about, it's making more, it's starting to make more sense. The, the fogs being lifted away. So look at that fine. tour. We changed, yeah, we, changed know, your, we changed your, we changed your mind, man. We, we enlightened you. Often. You've become myself. wiser. Good Lord. <laughs> and a cup was the one who made it happen for you. Incredible. Ever since, Ever since we took that walk on his, his right, side, right. the episode, we, we got along so well. <laughs> <laughs> They're dating outside of this, guys. Just right, so you guys right. know, yeah. They throw, they, they throw flowers at each other from across the state lines. And they, 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 they try to, like, get uh, uh, cupcakes and little candy bars and stuff. Right, Tori? Is that what you told me? No, I'm joking. Yeah, I'm, I'm joking. Over Amazon. <laughs> yeah, Amazon over yeah. Amazon. All right. So, okay, guys, we're going to move on to the third question, and we're going to start with uh, Mr. Bob Cadaver on this end, and uh, we're going to talk about uh, the Tracers uh, not making it to update 28. What are your thoughts, Mr. Bob Cadaver? So, were, were the Tracers broken? Is that why they didn't make it, or they just didn't make it? Yeah, the Tracers didn't have enough time to uh, for them to get the actual graphics team okay. to work on them. That's why they look kind of meh. I right. guess I, I I'll be honest, you know, they were meh for me. Yeah. So I, I didn't. This is another thing I didn't <laughs> get a chance to use, um, but I did see your playthrough of Prime. Um, most it was hard to pick up from when your character was shooting the tracers. Um, it's a neat idea, but I don't think it's necessary in the game. Um, what I did thought was pretty cool is when you you went up against some hostiles and they were shooting directly at you. And it was cool seeing the tracer around come towards your screen, your own character. That was pretty cool. Um, yeah, yeah. But, that that there were certain I, situations that look cool. Certain situations that aren't. I don't think they needed in the game with more fluff. I got you. Um, okay. What's uh? You, you're good, Bob. So I can move yeah. on to Bundy. Yeah. All right, Bundy. What's up, man? I didn't really have much of an opinion on it, um, one way or the other. But from what I understand, the reason. Well, one of the reasons why they didn't uh, keep it in for the update was because there was a lot of uh, outcry from the community. So, a large majority, yes. Uh, a lot of people were saying it was trash. Uh, they didn't look right. I mean, there, there was. I was. I'll, I'll be honest. I was really surprised because um, I thought it was a good idea on paper. It just wasn't executed well. That's my opinion. You know what I'd like to see. I would like to see them bring in uh, the Dragon's Breath rounds for the 12 gauge. That would be cool. Because didn't they and have that? In, didn't they have that in State of the K one? They had the Dragon. Oh, uh, yeah, that was magnesium rounds. Yeah, yeah I they would did. Like, I yeah. would like that for the 12 gauge. You know, for the shotguns in this, the way we can catch the zombies on fire. That would be dope, but I don't know if they're gonna do it. Because then they will have to change. They have to add a new bullet type and uh, new effects, and I doubt very much they're gonna do that for SOD two. But we can keep our fingers crossed, Bob. We might see it instead of the K3. Hey, we got two years, man. You never say never. You never know. You're right, Bundy. <laughs> they might surprise us next year with the new Dragon's Breath shotgun, and Bob will be happy and not grumpy. <laughs> you know? That'd be awesome. <laughs> hey, he might have to say Merry Christmas or 
something. He might have to say Merry Christmas on the on the next Christmas Prime Directive, you know. And, and if they hear that, they need to put the name uh, Cadaver carved right, into the right. buttstock of go. that gun that has <laughs> that. That would actually be dope. But I think I'm not big enough for that. He might well, cry. They hey, know me. <laughs> that that you think of, you'd be surprised, man. I didn't think they knew who I was, and they show up one day at the doorstep, and I was like, "Oh snap!" So I mean, I didn't reach out to them. You know, they they came to me, so they do watch. You guys be surprised. That's how we got our steam keys. That so. is, that is yeah. how we got our steam Thank keys. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 We, we had to actually play play daybreak to get <laughs> uh, to get, get some. Attention. <laughs> but he 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 dropped a comment, yeah, real quickly, I'm yeah. Right, but uh, yeah. I should but, start playing this game, man. I'm <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and kick you off this meeting, man. You're oh, done. You, you get fired again. You're like I'm forever fired. So <laughs> <laughs> this job, you've been fired like twelve times in the last least, week. Yeah, just in the last week. Yeah. All right. So I already kind of rebuttal what I said about uh, the actual uh, Tracer Rons being there. I always felt that there was a a good idea that wasn't executed well. And um, like Bob said, in certain angles, it looked good. In certain angles, it looked bad. And uh, you didn't really see it from your gun. You saw it more from the NPCs. But, I mean, did it affect me in negative? No. Did it affect me positively? No. So that's where I sit with it. It would probably be better if it was, you know, but they can't do the slow-mo uh, effect like they had in um, SOD 1 because of the multiplayer, so. Yeah, yeah. Slow mo. Definitely, that would look dope in slow motion, like, like uh, Matrix. You know, like the Matrix bullets, poof, whoop, you know, and you see the bullets go by. That would be dope. I mean, it look it look good when you're, whenever you're streaming, and and you have all this eye candy coming out to the screen. It, it keeps the viewers engaged. So yeah, sure. I mean, the more stuff you have, the better. But it wasn't executed right. So, so Bunny, are you cool? Because I'm cool with my answer. Yeah. I'm gonna move on to the last two, That's which is. Head. A cup, how do you feel about the tracer rounds? Yeah, it, I'll go back to it. they did so much to make um, Probby Ridge look awesome, and then they just dropped this pile of crap of uh, tracer rounds. It, it, I seen you play it, and you're the only one I've seen, and I was like, this looks like crap. It's like a laser light just flying through the air, and I was like, all this effort to make the map look better and you got to cram this in. So I am glad, like we said in earlier talks, that they're using the beta to beta. They're like, oh, this is horse. This sucks. Let's not do this yet. Well, you know what's you know what's cool about this last update um, from what I've understood from watching? You know, you guys, I, I don't know if this was said. And uh, I know it was said in the first take which we tried to do, but I don't think it was said on the second take, which is, a lot of the game developers have their own channels and they also stream this game and they stream other stuff as well. And they talk about this game off, off, you know, off on their, on their personal time. One thing that was mentioned on one of their channels was that a lot of this update were like individual people that had ideas on the drawing board and they just put it on the beta to see how we react to it. And of course, a lot of people reacted negative to that trace arounds. So they just took it out, which is kind of like what they should be doing. They should be getting, you know, more people involved in the actual beta so you get more of a pool of a consensus. And then you'll, you'll make a lot of people either happy or upset. You know what I mean? And they pulled it out because it was making people upset. So Yeah, I just think that they should put it back on the board and put some real <coughs> effort into it because it, it's a nice idea. It's they just, may. They, 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 may didn't, not. they just Who didn't knows? execute it very well. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I mean, what, agree. What probably happened too is you got uh, two different teams that worked on this thing, right? You, you got the, the the third party team, and I hate that I, I can't think of their name right now, but that that worked on the visual. It was Valkyrie. Fidelity. Valkyrie. Yeah, Valkyrie. Thank you. Yes. Um, that worked on the visual improvements, and then you got some. I, I'm going to say team, but it's probably one or two people that worked on those trace arounds and then once they put the two things together it probably didn't mesh well yeah that, that <laughs> trace around looks like they used 3d paint to put that together <laughs> yeah good god bob i mean uh hey, could be going ham on these people <laughs> hey, I, I hey, hey I, these are people I, man you don't throw them like controllers all right like, like, like <laughs> they, they have a great product and 
all yeah. five of us day one we're buying state of the k3 this so, is true you, all you pre-order know. right pre-order that's yeah, what yeah, we're gonna have that be, pre-order. it'll be pre-order it'll be in the wish man maybe, maybe they'll hook us up with beta keys man and I gotta, who knows I got you gotta talk nicer not nicer bob yeah. you're being way too mean no, i don't no. i think you just excluded me from the beta of the beta of right. the beta <laughs> Add this to my There's no fluff here. What you see is what you get with my channel, guys. <laughs> All right, Tor. Yes, yes. Cup is the fluffy Man, one. I think so. Tracer rounds is interesting because it brings up something that we recorded before but didn't record. Was the words that Bundy used? Because <clears throat> tracer rounds are interesting. The words Bundy used was, uh, "This is not my state of decay." Oh snap! Am I, am I quoting you right, Bundy? Yeah, that, that's kind of like a a, jo- a joke before you uh, right, right. you joined the store. Yeah. It, 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 <laughs> <but> because <laughs> whenever oh, here around, we go. Here we go. Everybody has their idea of of what their state of the key is. So right. that's like a running joke. Like, well, that's not my state of the key. <laughs> Some people may like those, and I'm gonna use Prime's word. They may like those hordes. You know, herds. Herds. They want to see more and more herds. I think in uh uh in Prime Stream last night, somebody was like, "I, I want to see more zombies, more zombies. The more that's zombies, crazy. the better." And I'm like, "No, that's not <laughs> the game. Is about community, building communities, and looting, and all that stuff. Because the more mm. zombies you throw in the game, the less and less it it, it is what it initially yeah. was." And you you lose the stealth element altogether almost, which exactly. is a big part of it. And, yep. and if anybody knows me, that's one of my most important yep. mechanics are stealth mechanics. So, For sure. See, you know? I, I think one of the other things that is original State of Decay and makes it State of Decay is the effort for realism. You can only care so much. Which you lose a little bit of that when you put stuff in vehicles because you should be able to put more. But I think that's part of it. And having every weapon on on the earth have tracer rounds in the in the magazine just isn't realistic. So I think that's I know it's a simple thing, tracer rounds. It's a cool idea because tracer rounds, just like in real life, they help you see wh- where you're shooting. They help you see where someone else is shooting. It's good. It's cool. I get the idea of it. But I think it takes away from the original idea of State of Decay. And they need to be careful that they don't get too far away from what SOD should be. You know, they're, start, they're trying to make a different game. They're, tr- they're, they're trying to turn it into a shooter game when that's not what it is. It's, it's a looting game. And like you were saying, community building. If you go to a shooter game, what are all the stealth people going to do? You're taking it away from them. And that's yeah. dangerous when you get into tracer rounds because that's what you're expecting. Now, I think what they're really, I think, wanting is because the idea of knowing where my NPCs are shooting, I do like that idea. You know what I mean? I like the idea of that. But I think, I think it's a little silly. I think the whole thing's a little silly. So I vote no on tracer rounds. <laughs> so, oh, we, we actually didn't, we actually you know? didn't vote, but uh, what, oh, okay. hey, 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 Cup, what, what, let's get the vote out. Let's, hey, Cup, what do you feel tracer rounds? Yes or no? Uh, in its current state, never. But like I said, they throw it back on the board, make it look a little nicer. Uh, I wouldn't have a problem with it. But like Tor said, it has to be in the right guns. Uh, all right. Be in your six shooter Colt. It's got to be in your <laughs> AR. What? You don't want to? You don't want to waste one bullet of magnesium out of your six shooter Colt? This is absurd. <laughs> I'm talking to some crazy people. Come on, man. Want to give up one bullet? Come on. No, I wouldn't want to give up any bullets to a damn magnesium round. People in my enclaves and communities don't shoot anyway. They just stand around <laughs> with a thumb in their nose. And <laughs> I mean, mine always shoot. They just shoot at the wall. But anyway, uh, Bob Cadet, what do you feel? Yeah, I think, it's, yeah, I think it's funny that that tour used realism to describe State of the Cave, but okay. Hey, man, that's a, that's a running joke right. between you and me, Bob. Oh, I mean, uh, Bundy. Yeah, I think that's what they were trying to do, yeah. Bob, okay. well, let me get Bob, let me get Bob's let me get Bob's <laughs> vote, man. Okay. Oh, okay. well, you know, that, that's I can of... carry more on my back than I can in the trunk of my that's, car. I, okay. I brought you just trick, you, you, you just, you just, you just <laughs> trigger the hell out of him, Dan. Yeah, okay, let's go. Bob, yes or no? <laughs> no. I got no. a holster on my tag jacket, but no. Oh, oh my <laughs> God, Velcro. <laughs> yes or no, Bundy? <laughs> <laughs> Nah, we don't need it. 
All right. Oh, I, I, I'm the only one they voted neutral, but I, you know, I mean, I, I got. Neutral? I, I, I don't feel I don't feel yes or no. I just didn't it didn't it didn't bother me one way or the other. You know, I'll be honest. I, I thought it was a eh. You know, it's like it didn't move me. I didn't have an opinion. That I said that from day one. All right, so. Podcast? Well, it just showed that out of five people, four people said no. So oh, that's okay. a clear indicator that and one I person mean, didn't know, care. Remember, originally I said I didn't really have an opinion on it. So, so anyway, two people didn't have an opinion and three people and three people said no. So there we go. It's still it's still no, regardless, because the people that have opinion didn't count. Um, anyway, so this is when we're going to open up the floor a little bit here. If there's anything, starting with A-Cup, that you guys want to talk about or question, let's say you want to throw a question around the table or you just want to say something about State of Decay in general or, or Update 28 or let's say what the future update uh, is, is going to be, you want to take a stab at it, uh, this is your opportunity to do so. This is the open section of the Prime Directive. So A-Cup, you, you can lead the charge, my dude. So I'm going to just focus a little bit on Update 28 and what it gives some players that didn't buy the ultimate edition and all that access to some of these other vehicles that you can call in. I don't have that edition. So I think it's pretty cool that I can do that. But I also think it kind of sucks for those people that spent that extra hard earned money <clears throat> to get access to that stuff. But I'm looking forward to driving that. Car okay. This is perfect. Cool. I'm glad you said this because I can rebuttal this real quick. Awesome. Okay. This is, this is an odd. This is why I love this part of the prime directive. Please the reason. Duper edition. <laughs> the super duper edition of State of Decay, <laughs> bro. <laughs> I, I already super duper edition. Super duper edition. <laughs> now I'm gonna use it because Buddy triggered me. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't gonna use it. I was gonna just say the the ultimate edition um, of State of Decay. Um, the reason they gave everybody access to all that stuff is because there were people that actually bought that version of the game that still didn't have access to all the goodies that they paid for. And they couldn't fix the problem um, for the people in general, so they had to give it to everybody. That's the reason that, uh, that they gave it out to everybody. That's why it came out in this update, because there had been people that had been waiting three years Oof. to get access to something they paid for that they didn't have access to. And I don't know exactly how many people were in that in that bucket, but it doesn't matter if it's 10, 100, or 1,000. Those are people that paid for something that they weren't getting. So, I mean, Undead Labs did the logical thing and gave it to everybody. So they gave a refund? No. They gave everybody access to that. Well, so, three it's been three years. It's, they, you know. They shouldn't have, they shouldn't have waited so long. So we, well, they should have, yeah, they should have fixed we? it. Because well, some that, games, know, some, some developers have done that in the past, like um, stuff that, that maybe they gave out for pre-order and then, you know, later yeah, on in the true. game cycle. Or they, they repackage it, the definitive edition or something like that. So Super Skyrim? duper. <laughs> they they, they could have done that in, in the, uh, the Juggernaut edition. So. Super duper. If you think about it. <laughs> well, they well, they, they give everybody the that. only person that, that played the day one edition of, of State of the K. Everybody else played Yo's. You played Yo's. <laughs> you played the year one edition. Everybody else played the year one survival edition. So he, he got a different a different game altogether. So. Yo's. Yeah. He got yo. He got yeah, yo. 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 <laughs> but Bunny got so much he hate in his heart, one, man. The year yeah. one edition. He got yo. We got yo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but see, there's so much. Hate. It's so much hate in his heart. I can't. I can't help him. All right, Bob. What What are your feelings of what your brother said, man? Ooh. Um. Well, I think it's you know it's pretty neat that everybody that they're giving everybody that ultimate edition. But what was it? Update twenty five. They give everybody the independence pack. Is that? Am I right on that? I think it was uh, when Juggernaut Edition yeah, came Juggernaut out. Edition dropped, we got everybody got Daybreak and everything else with it, and see, yeah. I'm. I don't know. I think the because that was a pre-order special. That was one of the ones that I got that I had that a pre-order that uh, for mine, and you know I, I felt kind of robbed and screwed out of that. They give everybody else all this crap, and I already paid for it. So this I, goes back. You know, this goes back. This goes back to my first uh, thing we talked about when we talked about Field of View. And and it's and it's giving people access to more of the game, or everybody have the same access to the, all the games, so that we can have more people interacting with the content. I think at the end of the day, um, yeah, you know, all of us that pre-ordered it, 
for example, everybody who pre-ordered and got the super duper edition like me, right? Um, they um, they got all these DLCs, but not Heartland. I had to pay for Heartland, exactly. ten dollars. Exactly. So so when Juggernaut Edition came out, it came with everything, yep. and you know none of us really got anything extra. anything extra for it. So that part kind of you know that part kind of hurt the people that that bought into the game early. But at the end of the day, the community uh, benefited from that. So, I mean... I, I think I've bought in this game like three times, dude. I bought one, the original one for my Xbox. I bought it when I went to PC. And then I bought the Ep Ultimate Edition as well on my PC. So, you know, I got a lot of money invested in this game. You know, hey, man, you... are just giving content and shit away, you know, and... And hey, but you got hey, but you got a free copy of this though, uh, Bob. So, <laughs> I mean, you did you did get a re you got you got a you got thirty bucks back. I mean, you know, so that A cup A cup can't say nothing. He got no, a. I'm not, I'm not saying anything because I didn't like yeah. any of those editions. So. <laughs> <laughs> As long as they don't I mean, make in-game purchases, which I know we talked about that earlier. Oh, I won't buy anything like that. <laughs> don't make that. Oh, uh, let's say like earlier too that that. Some games they they do that after a certain amount of time, so I think it's okay. I don't feel bad about it. You know, I I got the I, I pre-ordered. I, cool. I, I think also too, like because you know, like because they did this because back in the day, in my younger days, I probably would have did that because I love State of Decay one so much. Where it's depending on where you got the game from, you would get a certain pack. You know, you'd get a certain vehicle if you got it from GameStop, a certain hmm. vehicle if you got it from... Yeah, Amazon that was old school stuff. Whatever, yeah. whatever. So I think after a certain time frame, everybody should get access to that regardless because most people, unless you're a true diehard super fan, are going to buy more than one copy of a game just to get access to all that stuff. So I think they should reward people playing their game and give them access to all that. I think, so, I think what I'm thinking, you just triggered in my brain is oh, the people God. that bought it the people that bought it yeah they should keep it but the people that haven't utilize the bounty broker for more than t-shirts and handguns like hey you do this this and this we're gonna unlock this part of the game for you yeah. since you didn't purchase it make them work for a little bit yeah i yeah, never bought a bounty idea. broker so but still yeah i think that'd be cool okay all right all right so we got uh, we got eight cups open floor. Now the next person that's gonna have the open floor is gonna be uh, gaming with Tor. What do you want to talk about? State of the K, uh, previous oh update, yeah, future so, update. So many things. What? Just give me one. Um, I had so many things. I've lost them all at this point. So you just brain fart. That's gonna be your answer. I guess. I don't He's know. excited now. He's finally gonna play the game. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Damn funny. My my only thing is I I'm hoping they I don't have anything else to say about 28 but they need to really if if beta, if this beta on two is trying to figure out things for three they've got to get multiplayer figured out if they're gonna do it for three they've got to I do that now man given, they, they, I, I think they're gonna they're gonna definitely have that situated I, they got to the, exactly. So it, because this, yeah. this is what a what a game company is supposed to do, a developer, right? Especially if you're going into your third iteration of a game. Mm -hmm. um, and I've talked about that before too, because uh, what they did in two, they they took some of the things that that people liked it in one, and then they branched off and tried something different in two. Now what yeah. they're supposed <clears throat> to do is, if anybody's familiar with marketing, they're supposed to take one and two. And, and try and make sure the things that they know that people love from those two games, right. they have to put that in three. They have to. So, I, you know, that, that's why I got my fingers crossed and I'm hoping for the best on that. But it, it, there are some little differences, too, that I'd like to see. You know, hopefully they, they put a little bit more. Um, what's that word I use, Prime? I can't think about it right now. Not, not realism, but... Um, <laughs> I can't definitely think not one. realism. <laughs> no, it's not. Well, for three, you know, uh, maybe a little bit more realism would be cool. Yeah, I maybe that so. is the word. I don't know. I can't think about it right now. But anyway, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, um, you made me brain fart again. Wow. I Jesus. Guess my brain has gas. 
<laughs> no more tacos for you, bro. I guess so. I Your brain know. is no no bueno. All right, so is we're gonna it, uh, we're gonna it, go ahead and we're gonna skip no, it. No, I'm not done yet. Uh, no, no, we'll, we'll skip, skip you, and then uh, no, you can come back I, until you on brain fire. Okay, I, I go. The gas out. Yeah. Okay. It, it's my understanding that Undead Labs started as a, an indie company. Is that right? Correct. That's yes, right. and then they got picked up by Microsoft. After two, yes. Yeah, so see, that's where, I'm th- cool. that's where I'm thinking a lot of these changes, why they didn't have things like ac- accessible, like field of view. Because when you're an indie company, I don't, you know, you don't quite think, I think, that far, like, which is what Prime mentioned. So now we're getting another company involved. This is the first I've heard of that. Is that, is that accurate or no? Valkyrie getting involved? Have they had other companies help them before? Do I believe... I believe they helped them the with. Uh, they got Valkyrie. I believe is is to help them with State of the K two. Yeah. Uh, the majority of them are working on three. I got you. Yeah. So and I, all I the just, new hires that they got. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I just um, I think there's as far as future updates are going to go. I guess Valkyrie would continue working on graphical updates and we're going to see those uh, a map at a time uh like i don't know if the next update would bring it but maybe the one after that yeah i would assume so tour somewhere yeah, we're, we're going to see all the maps get retouched up right 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 yeah and eventually so i don't know i don't guess i have anything else to say all I right didn't really say anything but you just brain farted your way through it it's cool man <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right bob it's on you now buddy a uh, future update. Um, I would like to see them allow us to travel in between like two maps. I, I would like to be able to go to another map and keep my home base on one map and maybe like claim a house outpost or something like that and then give me some uh, missions that are map specific. You're like- asking you're asking for a big graphical game mechanic overhaul. We're probably not going to see it, but I'm going to tell you something. Hold that thought because you may see that in three. Because they were talking about something very similar. I don't know if you read that somewhere, but go ahead, keep going. No, that's just a thought I've had all along. Is I'm wanting to do that. You have, you know, because basically, if you look at it right now, the there's like certain stories just for for certain maps right now that we have. You know. You know they're going to add more story content to all the maps eventually yeah. too, right? Yeah. So that's on, that's on the books. We get more stories and then allow us to travel in between, you know, two maps and, you know, or, you know, another thing would be cool is maybe like have a hostile enclaves, like the people you kick out or something like that, have them come back and attack your base every now and again. Or if you're like wandering around them, you're wandering around doing a mission, you like bump into them out there and they become hostile and you got to duke it out with them. That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. That, I don't, I don't know if we'll see that, but. I know. The, I know. I, I I heard uh, a couple of the game developers talking about just that and having the enclaves do more than what they do now. So you, we may be seeing changes, not to SOD two, but probably you'll see some some new kind of system in SOD three. They're going to have to come up with something big because just giving us all this little fluff ain't going to cut it for the next couple of years. <laughs> well, so. get stand by because that's all we're going to get. We got to spread it out, Bob. We got to spread it out. Like yeah. Like well, peanut butter. They gotta do it. Well, yeah, they I'm have gonna... to. That that's 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 a a marketing thing. That's like your boss yeah. is standing up at, at the the front of the room is like, okay, all great ideas, but we gotta spread this thing out. State of three is not coming out until blank blank blank. So we gotta spread it out. So Man, it, yeah. if they could uh, quietly like drop a new freak, that would just blow everybody away. That would be crazy. That that would just did, did y'all hear what I hell. said one one and on one stream about blending? No, blending freaks together. Yeah. Hybrid, oh, yeah. yeah. They could yeah. easily do that. It's true. And that's the only freebie I'm gonna give out right now. Listen, no, I, yeah, he's, I, he's trying to get hired with Undead Labs, so he's he's I, holding I all the. I'm shutting blend. it down. If I see a feral juggernaut, I'm just I'm out, man. Or a clown Bro, juggernaut. I was thinking a clown juggernaut. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm good. That's a hard no, pass for me. There are so many things that they could implement that wasn't that wouldn't tax the engine that much. Yeah. And to be honest, yeah. what Bob just said, 
it wouldn't necessarily have to tax the engine because when you would move to another um, map, it would just involve some kind of uh, coding in the background to load and save and load and save. Mm -hmm. But then again, they can't even give us uh, another save slot, so I don't know. Yeah. Oh, oh but there it goes. There, that's it. You were gonna get hired up to that. You were you were gonna get hired, Bundy, until you just said that, man. Now you just I done mean, shut yourself. But that's that's real. That's real. They, now a lot of people do want be, that. They gotta live yeah. in real. You know that, yeah. that's the realism that Thor was talking about. One save <laughs> slot. One save well, slot per map. I'll you be know? honest. Yeah. I, I've done some programming on save slots in games, and it's actually super easy to do. Look at that. So, so go go the, hire go 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 handle the well, gaming with Tor. Hire me, but what's the problem? Woo, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I got two dudes. You got two dudes wanting to go on their lives. They don't even want to be one of those save slots before you get an extra one. Come on. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. Three. Use one of them, Tor. <laughs> Diablo. Diablo. Damn. They got you, Tor. I got nothing for you. All right. Um, buddy, you're good? You go with your. Uh, I thought that was your answer. I thought that was your. <laughs> well, I got you marked off as that being your thing. This, man, because I, I need to bring some some positivity back into this discussion about under labs, man. Because this is the thing, right? We we talked about this off camera before. We might have mentioned it on a prime directive. I don't know. The thing about state of decay, the first state of decay, and to some extent state of decay two. When I first played this game, I started thinking about the possibilities of where this company can go, where this franchise can go. And it's like, we would like Undead Labs to get there first before some other game company That's true. You know, steals all their ideas and, and like make that. the game that we always wanted. And, and that's, that's the thing, man. We, you know, they, they took a chance, and they're not the only... Uh, a game that did that. I won't name the game, but it's a game that I play that I enjoy, but going with the RNG route. The reason why they did that is because just, just like I said earlier, from day one, they wanted this game to extend. Now, I don't know if, if they were thinking at the time, we got to make it last until we, we bring out State of the K3, but they definitely wanted the game to continue to live on. That's why I went, when when uh, the developer made that full pie and said a live service. Everybody was like, "Yeah, no, don't say that." But you know, he just maybe that's not the right term to use. But that's the type of game they want, like a, a Sea of Thieves type situation where Minecraft you add content, the game continues <laughs> to grow, the community continues to stay involved. That's what they wanted. That's the way they designed this game. And going with that RNG thing. That was the idea that everybody going to play the game and no one's going to play the exact same game by having all these RNG elements. But, uh, you know, I'm sure they're going to take that and hopefully they can keep some of those RNG elements in there, but people are really clamoring for more story for the next game. So is that is that your final take, Bundy? Yes, sir. All right. All right. That was... Uh... That was, a, that was an extended version of Bundy D Games. That's all we're going to get for 2021. So <laughs> uh, hopefully you guys, uh, you know, don't tune into his channel because he ain't got nothing else coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, man. I'm, I'm just messing with you. Hey, uh, I went back and I watched that stuff. That's some good stuff, man. And I'm going to I'm gonna put my... I'm going to put... Go back and watch that. Yeah. Tor Tor Torches needs to play the game. But, but anyway... Um, <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wrap this up real quick, guys. I, I I'm gonna make it quick. Um, when it comes to State of Decay, uh, future because that's what I'm gonna touch up on. I I mean this is the seventh episode of the Prime Directive, and if you guys haven't watched the previous six, I've had other content creators in here and we we had a lot of ideas and interchanging and and some stuff came true, some stuff hasn't come true, some might come true. We don't know, but in terms of the future of State of Decay two, um. I hope that whatever comes next gets done by the Under Labs and not done by another company because that's going to that's gonna fracture most of our communities and that's going to make people play other games and not so much interact with the State of the K2 content that we make now. And uh, I don't think it's beneficial for all of us, from content creators to people that watch us to people that play the game. 
to for that to happen. So I, I'm 100% with you on that, Bunny, when it comes to the future of State of Decay. And just like you, when I played the first State of Decay, I remember thinking the same thing. Wow, this is a good beginning, but they can push this to like another level. All it takes is, you know, the potential is there. You know, it's like watching uh, a, a rookie quarterback, you know, in the NFL, and then next thing you know, he becomes Joe Montana. You can see the potential, but he hasn't gotten there. That's what State of the K is. It always has been for me. So I think that's it, man. I'm uh, I'm good with uh, with everything, guys. Uh, I mean, anybody wants to add something else, this is the, uh, the time to do it. If not, we will be saying our goodbyes, my dudes. I would, I would love to see uh, a marriage of Undead Labs and Bethesda Games or oh, even Obsidian. Boy. That'd be yeah, hot. Diablo. That'd be hot. That, if, if that's what State of the Key 3 is a fraction of, that's going to be a great game. Bro, and I, yeah. I got Obsidian nothing. Obsidian and Bethesda belong to Microsoft now. That's so, true. Yep. You know? Yeah, they definitely they definitely can do something. A cup, you got something I do? Yeah, I just think that they're on the right track. I know we 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 spar at them, but they have such a great game. Like I said, all of us are gonna pre order three. We know it. And I just hey, thanks for the time. I appreciate being a part of the Prime Directive. This was so much fun. Thanks, guys. Copy. The tour? Yeah, it was good to be here. Um I hope I I'll definitely looking forward to three and looking forward to seeing what else they do with two. Hopefully good, how thing, about you, good things how, in the future, man. Good how about you just play it, man? I'll All right, try. Bob. <laughs> hey, I thought, uh, thanks for having me. Um, I like being part of this. Um, it's interesting to have, you know, four other people's opinion of a game that's, that I love playing. Um, not all of us have the same opinion, but that's that's what's great about it. Not all of us play the same way, so that's exactly what, that's what's also great about it. So, you know, check us all out. Um, you can learn something from each and every one of us. Except a cup, you can learn you can, you can learn how to drink with a cup and how to slam your controller. Yeah, <laughs> you know, swear, swear like a sailor. Yeah, oh, but that's words. a there definitely some prettier <laughs> adjectives that I say for sure. All right, uh, Bundy D, what's up, my dude? Okay, guys. <laughs> All I was going to say is, is the reason why doing this is so much fun, and, and uh, yeah, I, I, I wish we could do it more often. The more people, the merrier. Uh, it's because I just remember, like, it, it goes even further back because I, I enjoy talking my games so much that I used to go to my uh, the mall nearby uh, when I, I I lived in another city, and they knew me by name when I would go in the game store, and I would just hang around there and just talk about games. That's how much I, I enjoy doing this type of thing. So, yeah, this is fun, man. You know, I had a good time. Wait a minute, you made me do all this <laughs> a for a thirty-five <laughs> second story, man. Oh hell no! I used to go to the GameStop store. I had I, I made a friend at, at a at a video um at a uh, movie <laughs> rental place, video game rental place, and used to go there. I used to take my son and my nephew there every, every Saturday just to talk about games. So I, man, I almost had this pinpointed so that we can get off right as this thing ended, and you made me reset everything for a thirty-three second story, Bundy. You, you're you're on that story. list. On, uh, great story it was, it was, but it was i'm great. glad everybody enjoyed it i got you man i got you i almost had to wipe my eye because of that story. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, you made you made cup cry man you made you made y'all would have tears man when i would have brought in you know yeah. how, how how young my son and my nephew was, oh. and I dragged them with me every Saturday. Oh, and they was like, they were just ready to get home and play the games, man. Why you got to talk about the games so much? We just want to get home and play them. Mm. <laughs> hey, yeah. Matt. Anyways, man. Well, anyway. It's, uh, you know, I uh, January 11th will be one year for my channel, and I could never imagine when I started that that I'd be sitting here enjoying this awesome conversation. So yeah, oh man, now who's, now who's causing tears? Oh, oh, oh Tor, I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't <laughs> warn you first. <laughs> oh man, 
I, I think everybody needs to grab a hanky and just oh, yeah. just let it all out. Bob is not going to do it, though. <laughs> Bob is real. I thought no, Bob is serious. We're going to have to keep <laughs> You got to get, yeah, let's keep the clowns <laughs> out. You and Bundy, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but dudes, well, listen. Read my contract a little better. I need <laughs> yeah, that's a fine, that's a fine print, you know. There's a lot, there's a lot of fine print. There's a lot of fine print in there. It, it, it's a little blurry with the ink, especially when it's fresh. There's some invisible print in there. Yeah, yeah, you have to put ultraviolet on it, Cup, and you might see it. Hey, um, and on a serious note, guys. you going to have to sign a prenup. Oh, jeez, Bunny, what the hell? Anyway, <laughs> this guy went to another level. All right, uh, all right, guys, listen, uh, this was a blast. We definitely need to do this more often. Like I said, if there's going to be any more new news and stuff like that or new new updates or, or for example, uh, another game in the future coming out that's similar to State of Decay, uh, we will be bringing it back up on here. Now, hopefully I can get most of you guys to come back. Um, we are trying to form a unified alliance between all content creators that make State of the K2. So if you are a content creator you want to partake in all this, all you got to do is reach out and uh, we can try to set something up so that uh, you can also partake in this talk. So this is not just exclusive to just us. I wanted this to be community wide. So anyway, um, I have to come back. So it's in the prenup. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this dude. All right. <laughs> hey, 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 Bob, definitely. We're going to have to get rid of all these clowns. It's just going to be me and you next time. Just prime Bob on the next one. Pop, right. Yeah, next prime Yeah, Bob and me, that's it. These dudes right here out of control. I content, but I still got to show up. That's it. Yeah. That's you it. There you go. He, reti he retired. He retired, but he didn't retire. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he, he gets brought out of retirement. So uh, anyway, guys. <laughs> I excited it. All <laughs> right, guys. Thank you guys so much for showing up. Bob, thank you so much for taking the time to be here. A Cup, same thing. Uh, Gaming with Tor. Bundy D, I don't have to thank you. But all of these gentlemen that are to, to partook in this in this uh, talk, they all have channels on on uh, on YouTube. They all some most of them stream, except for Bundy. And uh, don't forget to check their channels out. I will have a cha their channels linked on the descriptions below. Also, there's going to be on the chat below on the you know on on this video itself. There's also going to be a um, their channels are going to be linked there as well. Go check them out. Bob Cadaver, A Cup, Forty Nine Nineteen, and Gaming Mature are just kind of like fresh fresh onto yeah. the scene, and it'll be cool that you know maybe a couple of years down the road when they're big time big ballers, um, you can look back and say, hey man, you, you know we saw them first here with Prime, you know, and Prime is in his little wheelchair retired somewhere, you know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What a future. What a future. <laughs> With Bundy D in our prenup. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you guys so much. You guys have a great day or night. Light them in peace. Congrexes. Checking out.